The 10th session of the Namibia-Zambia Joint Permanent Commission of Cooperation focused on crucial matters affecting development. These include economic and infrastructure development, transport and communications, health, minerals and energy, and agriculture. The Deputy Premier and Minister of International Relations, Netumbo Nandin Daito, said the Commission has formulated responses to the developmental challenges. The signing of an agreement to facilitate and support the private sector to build an oil and gas pipeline from Zambia to Namibia is one of them. The success of our cooperation should not be judged on the number of agreements we have signed, but on their implementation and the impact on the livelihood of our people. Therefore, I urge our senior officials in conjunction with our, the private sector to ensure the implementation of this important instrument without delay. We must know that policies and programs are what they are when implemented. But if no action is taken, it's just as good as if there's no policy or program. The Commission noted that the Zambian dry port at Valfis Bay continues to be a key enabler for cross-border trade. Moreover, it highlighted progress made on the establishment of a one-stop border post at the Katima Mulilo Winela border post and urged the countries to develop an implementation plan. Zambia's Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Stanley Kakubo, stressed that the session has increased the two countries' resolve to deepen their cooperation in various sectors. I also wish to reiterate the importance of the adhering to the set implementation time frameworks contained in the signed minutes of the 10th session of the Zambia Namibia JPC. This will help us to speedily deliver social, economic gains for both our peoples. The Commission has also welcomed the completion of a feasibility study to construct a railway line from Grotfontein to Katima Mulilo to enable the countries to create a railway link. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Swakopmund.